Okay, I have a confession. See, up to this point, I haven't really been vlogging. I've spent the past month exploring Japan, top to bottom, and although I got thousands of photos, I've barely taken any video. So before we get into the real vlogging, here's an overview just to get you up to speed. November 30, fly Gold Coast to Tokyo, arrive two hours late thanks to Jetstar, check in at midnight, wake up at six, and take some photos in the room before heading to Kyoto. Spent four days in Kyoto exploring the city, touring shrines and eating more ramen than we probably should. We washed it down with some cocktails but I got some exercise in too so don't make me feel bad about it. Next stop, Osaka. Took photos from a tall building, found an ice rink in the middle of the city and helped Kai skate. Yeah, it went well. Spent the day at Universal, got accepted into Hogwarts and had the best breakfast ever. Oh my god, that's the best breakfast ever. Found Super Mario World which brought back 25 years of nostalgia, played some mini games and found the secret key. We skipped 12 hours of lines by going in the single rider lines and sat together most of the time anyway. So if you ever give this a try, let me know. Caught the bullet train to Nagano and found snow at Togakushi Shrine. I sent my grandmother a postcard and got back on the train the next morning in an attempt to track down Fuji. And yeah, we found it. We also found amazing sushi at, I think it was called Shaw's Sushi. Got back to Tokyo, shot a model on our rooftop and finally got to check out Team Lab Planets, an awesome art exhibition that I highly recommend if you ever go to Tokyo. Got a train to Sendai, saw it snow and was meant to get a car to go to this shrine, but none were available and by this point we're pretty tired so we went back to Tokyo early and played some darts instead. Kai only had a few days left at this point so we went op shopping and did a photo shoot in what she bought. Stumbled across a top 3 ramen place, bought half of the convenience store and some of the world's best apple pies. Sunset at Shibuya Square wrapped up Kai's trip before I took her to the airport and went back to stay in a capsule just to emphasize my newfound loneliness. But the next day I moved to a new place, met up with Carlo and Amanda at Sensoji Temple which I actually showed in episode 1, spent Christmas with the crew touring Tokyo and went to the Nike headquarters for some employee discounts. I didn't actually get anything but I appreciated looking like a condom for a minute. And that brings us to today. So December 30, 2022 was the turning point. Talking to my phone at 1.30 in the morning, I committed to vlogging my trip. Before this point, I'd spent years exploring the world, experiencing new cultures, and meeting really incredible people, but I could never really document my travels the way I wanted to. In all honesty, the thought of talking to camera in public felt kind of daunting. On top of that, I'd spent so little time on my filmmaking that I wasn't confident in my abilities. The perfectionist in me wouldn't let me create any content that I wasn't sure about, which really meant creating nothing at all. That was until this moment right here. This is just me committing to myself to vlog the rest of the trip. I'm doing some pretty cool shit, you know, hopefully have a few photo shoots lined up, going snowboarding at Nazawa Onsen, heading up to Hokkaido, um, doing a bit of a road trip there. No expectations, I guess, no pressure, just a commitment. And I'm glad I did. Now I have a new challenge, not only documenting my travels but sharing everything I learn along the way. To be honest, I have no idea where this will take me but I plan on making a ton of mistakes, challenging myself as much as possible and getting better every day. Let's fucking go.